Welcome to the second Alabama Weekly. In this lesson, we will discuss geography and early settlers to include Indians and explorers. Uh, some of the explorers include um, Ponce de Leon, uh, De Soto, Balboa, and we'll discuss some of the forts and all that they created as well. A couple of the early historic sites that were found in Alabama were Russell Cave, and this was important because um, archaeologists study the remains and find out who was living there and what kind of civilization existed based on pottery and weapons. So if you get a chance, you might want to try to visit Russell Cave. Some important vocabulary for this week include inhabitants, artifacts, archaeologist, and the location Russell Cave. Other important places in this lesson include the Tuskegee Institute, which is a agricultural and industrial school that still exists, and the first capital, which was for the Confederacy, located in Montgomery, and the White House is still there, and many of you uh, probably take a field trip to go look at that. Some other sites include Moundville, and this was where they had the Alabama Indians, who had a big battle at Horseshoe Bend, and Andrew Jackson, who later became president, was instrumental with that, and one of the largest groups of Indians in Alabama were the Creek Indians. Some other important places include geographic areas. Many people came to Alabama through Kentucky. They came down south from Kentucky or Tennessee, and they crossed over the uh, mountains or they came to Alabama for the rich soil which was in the Black Belt area or they even came from different areas with waterways they came by ships like the explorers did and if you take a look we've got a vocabulary crossword puzzle this week so I'll help you out with the first one number two across cave or site with the most complete records that would be Russell Cave, so R-U-S-S-E-L-L, -L, and that would be your first entry there. 